Snap-on Training Solutions helps you get the most out of your Ethos Tech Diagnostic Tool. This training module covers the basic setup and controls. Before operating or maintaining Ethos Tech, read the safety instructions and user manual carefully, paying extra attention to the safety warnings and precautions. The diagnostic tool can be powered from the internal batteries, the AC-DC power supply, or the vehicle. New standard batteries, or fully charged, rechargeable batteries, provide sufficient power for about two hours of continuous operation. The power indicator changes from a battery icon to external power when power is being supplied to the tool. The internal batteries are not intended to power the diagnostic tool during vehicle testing. Make sure vehicle power is available when performing vehicle tests. To install the batteries, depress the two battery cover lock tabs and lift off the battery cover. Observing proper polarity as shown on the battery slots, install six new AA batteries. Important, the tool can be damaged if the battery polarity is incorrect. Refer to the diagram in the battery compartment on the rear of the tool for correct battery placement. Indicators and connectors are on the top panel. The USB client port is used to connect Ethos Tech to a personal computer for transferring saved files. The micro SD card port holds the micro SD card that contains the Ethos Tech software. The data cable port is used for the scanner vehicle connector. This is also used with the serial adapter to connect the AC-DC power supply. Use only the correct AC adapter provided with Ethos Tech. To power up the Ethos Tech, press the power button. Ethos Tech automatically powers up and opens to the home screen whenever it is connected to a vehicle or AC power. Ethos Tech will boot up to the home screen in about 10 seconds. All operations can be performed using the touch screen or the keys. The four-way keypad controls up, down, and left-right navigation. Pressing the Yes button selects a menu or program or confirms a selection. Pressing the No button exits a menu or returns to the previous screen. The Shortcut button can be programmed to perform a variety of common tasks. To assign a function to the shortcut key, select the Tools icon from the home screen. Select Configure Shortcut Key and choose a shortcut function to assign. Choices for the shortcut key function include Screen Brightness, Save Screen Image, Save Movie, Toggle Record and Pause, and Show Shortcut Menu, which allows you to select any of these functions. Select the Back button to return to the Tools menu. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Click here to watch the next module in this Training Solutions series. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss the next great product from Snap-on.